All right, Cameron, you've been thinking this thought for like the past couple hours since you were reading this bankruptcy book, bankruptcy code. So your dad put this limit. My dad put this limit on you of $4,000 a month. There was like this, he always was saying, he was complaining about having kids. To me, his child, which I don't, I can't do anything about. But he was complaining to me about how when me and my brother came along, my older brother, Keenan, he had $4,000 in bills every month, $4,000. And he was running a landscaping business and had some equipment or something like that. I don't know specifically, but he, cause he was just complaining, complaining. He had $4,000 in bills a month. Oh my God, $4,000 in bills a month. And you never realized this till now because you're about to be bringing in passively $4,000 a month that he set a limit or a glass ceiling on your potential, right? So that potential is like $48,000 a year, which I've like, I mean, I've had 50,000 cash and just like spent that. I blew that in like two, three months, right? So, but cash flow, the actual be like, oh yeah, I'm making, I'm bringing in this income every single month of $4,000 consistently not like big deals or big projects but just cash flow like little stuff which in reality it is it's just little stuff and there was that limit put into your psyche all those years ago from him complaining even though it's not my problem complain to somebody else or go fix the problem your damn self so now that i'm actually like interviewing all these people who are putting in a lease for my property and they're saying Oh, they make three to five thousand, or they make four thousand, or they make twenty one dollars an hour, or some stupid, or they make like fifteen dollars an hour, or whatever. All of these people, yes, I'm a rent to them, but they also don't have high credit scores, so their their credit scores are not above really six hundreds. They either work like some type of nine to five job, or some like low paying salary job, which pays like. 15 to 20 dollars an hour and i mean they're just it's just a different type of people which is why you own the house that they're renting from and they're double your age right they, they're like some of them are like 40 right so get that in your mind that that four thousand dollar limit you're about to smash through it right because i mean the house is 1200 so 1200 plus, I don't know, 38, no, 2800 is $4,000 a month passive cash flow, right? So I'm about to smash through that number in passive cash flow, not even active. So the point is that limit that dad put in us of just, oh, $4,000 a month was so tough and I lost everything. I lost my house and I lost my marriage, lost my kids. None of that shit is your problem. In fact, none of that shit is even a major problem. All of those things are minor. You can get a house back. You can get more love. You can get your kids back in your house. Just do the work every month, really, because I'm asking these people, how much you make a month? One person's like, I don't know how much I make, but I know I can pay the rent. Okay, how much is that? Well, I don't know how much that is, but I know I can pay the rent. It's like, okay, you're denied because of lack of income. Well, you don't know how much I make. You don't either. Click. You know you can pay the rent, but you don't know how much money you make. You don't know anything important. People are like... like <laughs> Everyone should be paying attention to how much money they're making every month. Otherwise, you're just twiddling your thumbs. Even if you are going out there making money, it's important to know that, oh, in the past three months, I've made $12,000. So that means for the year, I can expect to make forty five dollars to $50,000. Like, that's, like, where I'm at. That's just the marker. But, like, me for me... Growing up, just having that, like, limit set, it's been so hard to get to that level. And the people who are on the $4,000 level, I'm telling this person, I'm like, 
no, you shouldn't be like that. No, you shouldn't be like this because I've just always had this fear of my dad. I'm just like, oh, no, I can't tell him no. He's telling me no, so I have to be up under him. When in reality, I'm free to do as I want. And I've been free to do as I want since I moved out six years ago. It's just taken a really long time to get out from under that psychic block, right? Glass ceiling, some people say. That's the whole point of even being in business on my own is to not have a glass ceiling. So still it's taken six years for it to undo itself. So all, all the mistakes and all the bad businesses, pay attention now. You get into a bad business or a bad relationship with somebody, the psychic damage will take, could take years to heal and repair itself. It's part of the reason why I'm doing this um, boxing is because it makes me stronger psychically to be able to go into a fight and fight with the client and fight with the customer for the money that I deserve for the value that I'm giving them. I'm giving them good. So I got to force or put the good into them if they're not listening to it. Like I told this one lady, call this, call this, uh, lender. He'll do, he'll do the application for you. 15 minutes. And then I'm not, and also here's the second lender in case that one doesn't work out. A day later, oh no, well she texts me, yes, okay, I'll t I'll talk to him when I when we get home today. I'll, and yeah, because she was out with her husband. A day later, oh no, I didn't call him. I'm at work right now. Just told her like, look, listen, I can't work with you. You don't listen. Say so you don't follow simple instructions. It's a 15 minute application to get you a house. You don't want a house. You don't listen. I can't work with you. You don't follow simple instructions. Oh no, I do follow instructions. Okay, let me just go on my, when I get on my break, I'm gonna call them up and blah, 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 go through the application with them. And should I put you down as the realtor? Like, just call it like, you know, call a spade a spade. Call it as I see it. Like these people making, Four thousand dollars a month. They don't follow simple instructions. Nine times out of ten, they don't. Which is why they're still making four thousand dollars a month. Like you, because it's like you don't listen. These people don't really listen as much as they think they do. Like with this lady, like oh yeah, we make such such. We got ten thousand saved up, but you can't do a fifteen minute application to buy a house. You don't follow simple instructions. A lot of these people in this price bracket don't follow simple instructions. For all, all that it, all that's cracked up to be, that's what it is. So as you're about to smash through that bracket, you do follow simple instructions. You just had that mental block of $4,000 a month and then my life fell apart. So you've probably been scared to have that cash flow come into your life since then however realize that when you get four thousand dollars a month your life will actually open up like i can already see all the freedoms and things that i want to do to make me more powerful and stronger opening up before me so embrace your power because all of that complaining all of the abuse all that did was just make you subservient and weak and wanting to be under somebody who wasn't even under themselves. The head became the tail and you were under the tail. So now that you're, you've always been the head. And now that you've got your head out of your ass and you see that, okay, this, this quote unquote glass ceiling is broken. You can really fully grow up like to what the knowledge you've been putting into yourself allows you to be and all of the challenges that come along with that you're able to succumb them. I mean, you've done things most people would have would have died by now, honestly. Like you you don't you don't almost die twice. You don't been all over the we've been all all kinds of places in the world. You've been to South America, you've gotten into um rooms that people have are making hundreds of millions of dollars. Talk to them, met them, seen how they are personally, and you can do the same. So walk that path, continue walking that path, smash through this next milestone, 
And let's get this money. <laughs> we going to fight for it. It's fun. We like fighting. Remember, we like fighting. You used to fight all the time. I really like fighting, actually. I was losing to people who were two levels ahead of me. So that made me like, oh, man, the people who are on my level, I don't want to fight. But that's pretty natural. Like, if you're going to lose, lose to someone who sucker punches you, lose to someone who is two levels at earth. Well, I mean, not two levels, but like I said, I've lost a fight to my brother. But that was just a loss. <laughs> you just take the loss. Other fight, I got sucker punched. Other fights before that, I was just fighting all the time. Like I remember, remember Nick you used to fight Nick all the time. Over, I don't even remember what over. We was just always fighting. Like what happened to that, bro? Like what happened after we moved out of that neighborhood? Oh, you wanted to go cut grass with your brother. He wouldn't let you. It made you feel like lesser than. And I could have went and just found my own grass to cut. But I remember mom was saying I was getting lazy and not wanting to do it. I just lost my motivation because my brother didn't want to let me hang out with him. Whatever the case may be, that's the case. It's kind of like, you know, as I've been watching more movies, it's kind of just how brothers are. It's like, hey, yeah, I got my own friends. You can go make your own friends. Such is life. No hard feelings. <laughs> Just move on. And I, I would get stuck in that stupid bullshit. Oh, no. He's not my brother. And he don't love me. Which is makes no sense. But that's just like younger brother type of mentality of also feeling like I'm under somebody when, again, I'm not. I've always just been ahead, been my own person. If I never mentioned I had a brother, no one would ever know. So it's just all this like cluttered, all this clutter in my fucking head is finally coming out because it's just like, bro, go get your life, <laughs> go have fun, do the fight for the life you want, win, win, train for it, get more power, go more places, money, cars, clothes, the hoes, you know what it is. Bro, four thousand dollars a month. I blood out in a week. <laughs> Swear, I've done that. I went and bought a car for four thousand cash, cashed out on it. My Mustang. That was like snap of the finger. So with this money coming in, I'll be able to save more. I'll be able to just hustle. I mean, I don't like the hustle word, but I'm all. I am a hustler. Just hustle up more money. I'm about to start hitting these doors and just start hustling people, selling the body oils. Hustling them on the street, just getting money all kinds of ways and moving on. Like, I was feeling bad because this person called me up yesterday and they were like, Hey, yeah, uh, how many, this is an agent, how many applications have you, has, have been put in? I said to them, Sounds like you're interested in putting in an application. So when I get off this phone call with you, send me your email address, you'll get the application with the instructions. Oh, um, well, how about, uh, I'm like, well, hey, look, I got to get this other phone call right now because I'm my phone is ringing. So, uh, yeah, it sounds like you want to put an application in. Yeah, well, you didn't tell me how many, like, she said how many applications. I don't have to tell you that. How is a help word? I don't, I have the power in me to help or to not help. Me telling you how many applications doesn't help me. So that's just my power. Like, and I was waking up. I was thinking about this stupid shit. I'm like, bro, that was like way yesterday. Move on. Forget about that. But really what it is, it's it's power. to The power to allow and the power to deny. Recognize what the hell it is. Like, I denied her help. I can do that because I'm powerful. I can deny people access. That's one thing about it. Like, I can allow or deny whatever I want in my life. Like this painting. I allow this painting to exist in my house. I created it. It's there because I allow it to be. I don't allow dirt in my house because I deny it. Same thing with that lady. Her asking that question is not her putting the application in. And I need the application so I can rent my house out. So she ain't helping me asking some stupid shit. Move on. I'm powerful. <laughs> 